Hi chess fans! One of the opening principles goes like this. One shouldn't make useless moves with rook pawns in the opening, and should develop the pieces and occupy the center instead. However, one shouldn't follow the rules dogmatically. In some openings it can make perfect sense to move a side pawn if it contributes to the fight for the center and obstructs the opponent's harmonious development. A very short game which ends with a beautiful combination is a good example of such exceptional openings. In this game black played Karo Khan defense, so e4, c6, d4, d5, knight c3, d takes e, knight takes, knight f6, knight g3. And now black, instead of making natural developing moves, immediately played h5, planning to harass the knight on g3 next move, as the knight won't be able to move to a central square e4, as f6 knight is also controlling this square and would be forced to go to e2. That's why the most logical move for white would be bishop c4, so that after h4 knight e2, the knight on e2 doesn't uh, obstruct the bishop's development, as it would be already developed. However, instead of this, uh, black, white made a mistake by playing bishop g5, and you will see the idea behind this move. After h4, white just took on f6, eliminating the defender of e4 square, and expected black to take on f6, after which the knight would be able to move to e4. However, instead of capturing the bishop, uh, black captured the knight, h takes g and uh, the rook on h8 has become a very active piece uh, without making a single move. And at the moment both the pawn on h2 and the bishop are under attack, and the only way to save both is to play bishop e5. However, this leads to a very beautiful combination. Can you find black's next moves? So first move is simple, rook takes h2. And after rook takes h2, black of course didn't capture back, because uh, white would have captured with a bishop, but played queen a5 check. Now if queen d2, then uh, g takes f uh, wins on the spot, as the queen is pinned. That's why uh, white played c3. However, this leads to a queen sacrifice, uh, which eliminates the defender of h2 square. Queen takes e5 check d takes e, g takes h, and black is promoting to a queen next move with decisive material advantage. That's why white resigned. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.